That's right, together they hosted an event for International Translation Day. This year's symposium took place September 30th to highlight the importance of effective translation and interpretation in our global community. All members of the community were welcome to take part in this weekend's events. We spoke to San Antonio local Nailea Blanco. Do you need more information about the 2020 candidates running for federal and state offices? Visit the Texas Secretary of State website to find out more. We also got a chance to speak to Olu student Wendy Garcia to find out about how she registered to vote. Soy Giselle Casarrubias. Bienvenidos a la nueva edición del Noticiero en Español. Es un gusto que nos acompañen. The gym is the place where many people find themselves for their New Year's resolution. Here at the UAC, let's find out how as a student, you can learn ways to commit to a healthier lifestyle and start the year on the right foot. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, the Olu University Ministry Program hosted the altar making workshop at the library community room. Students were provided with a variety of materials like flowers and paint to complete the altar for their loved ones. I interviewed student Miranda Guevara about her experience on the Carnaval de los Muertos events. Um, I really like it because it's I've never really celebrated Olu de los Muertos, so it's getting like closer to my tradition. We got a chance to speak to the director of the university ministry, Creighton Chandler, and he tells us about what this event offers to the students. So, so here you see people in the decorating of the things that are special to their loved ones, and they have their favorite foods, um, their images, and so favorite colors. Right? So. The series of workshops will come to its end on October 21st, where students can participate in face painting and other activities. For more information on this event, contact the SLD office at sld at olusa.edu. Reporting for Lakefront News, I'm Giselle Casarrubias. Our country is fortunate to have the right to vote as it energizes political changes and it empowers cooperation among citizens. Presidential elections are looming and it is important to know about who you want to vote for and what the candidates' goals are to better this country and community. Do you need more information about the 2020 candidates running for federal and state offices? Visit the Texas Secretary of State website to find out more. We also got a chance to speak to Olu student Wendy Garcia to find out about how she registered to vote. I registered to vote through Move Texas and I got a chance to go to Las Palmas Learning and Leadership Development Center to cast my vote. I think that these resources are at every student's reach to voice their beliefs through what the candidates offer. Dr. Lita Barnett, the program head of political science, is qualified to register you to vote. You can visit Dr. Barnett in Maine 202E for help in the process. Reporting for the Lakefront News, I'm Giselle Casarrubias. The gym is the place where many people find themselves for their New Year's resolution. Here at the UAC, let's find out how as a student, you can learn ways to commit to a healthier lifestyle and start the year on the right foot. It's a stress reliever for me, and it just makes me feel, um, like I said, stress-free. It's a really good stress reliever. I need to, sometimes I need a break from school. Or just and a stress reliever may be just what you need after the hustle and bustle of the holiday season. For students, you don't have to pay for a gym membership. Your tuition gives you access to workout equipment and classes offered at Our Lady of the Lake. One of those classes is taught by student Maggie Savala. What's really good about my class is that I do a lot of uh, transitioning between beginners workouts, intermediates, to advanced. So if you come into the class, the first thing I'm going to ask you is if you've worked out before, how long you've been working out, if you ever have worked out before, and then from there that way I know what exercises to do. One easy workout that Maggie does before her class is step ups. One, two, one, two. One, two. There is no cost to participate in Maggie's Workout Wednesday class, which takes place at 7 p.m. every Wednesday. We hope to see new faces at the UEC and do not be intimidated. It is a place to learn and explore, all while also staying healthy 2020. With this, we send you holiday greetings and season's eatings. Reporting for the Lakefront News, I'm Giselle Casarubias.